Hey guys, James Pate. I just wanted to give you a quick overview of how to set up the plugin. So uh, the first thing you do after you install it, uh, there's actually a few ways you could approach it, but uh, you need to get your menu of review sites set up. So to do that, you click this little plus button right here, and that's how you add a new menu. And then you add these uh, individual review sites, which are actually different pages on your website. So you just find them in your pages after you make them. And uh, the only one that you can't do as a page is Google Places and the reason for that is because Google does not allow embedding so you just uh, use this custom link feature right here you put a link to the Google Plus uh, or Google Places page and uh, label and then you add it in there so that's how you make whatever uh, review sites you want to do and then you see there's this uh, you have to choose a menu for your review sites so I made this one review sites right here and then I selected it in these custom menus and then you save it. But in order to do that, you actually have to make different pages on your website for each review site. So I'll just give you an example. So for the yellow pages, I uh, just made a page review slash yellow pages. So that's an actual page. And uh, for each of these different pages, you need to use these two different short codes, review site and menu. So you can actually use this anywhere on your website. But in order to insert that menu onto a review site, you just insert the short code menu. And to have the actual embedded review site, like the, uh, so when you go to my website slash review, just do this. So this actual embedded review site is a short code as well and that's the short code review site. And in order to get the review site uh, short code to work you have to make sure that custom fields is checked right here and then you scroll down to where uh, it says custom fields. Let's see where's that. And you make a new custom field with the name URL and then for the value right here, you just put the uh, URL of the review site or whatever uh, web page you want to show up there. So you can see right here, what I did was I found the business that they're reviewing and I went ahead and went to the page where they leave the review. And that just makes it easier so the people visiting the different menus on the review sites don't have to find the business. You just find it for them and then copy this link up here at the top and you put that in right here. So URL for the name and the actual link for the value. So you do that for every single one of the review sites that you want to show up. Now after you have finished that, uh, you, sh you add these review sites into here and then uh, if you want to use the form, so uh, I made a page review where I put this form here and if you want to use that form you use the shortcode review start. So this review start shortcode just inserts the form and that's all you have to do for that. Now uh, for this form uh, you have to make sure your settings are configured as well because uh, I'll just show you. So you have to make sure you have employees listed because each of these employees actually show up in the form and uh, these are the employees that people can select from. So if you only have one employee, you know, just put one employee and uh, you can add or delete them right there by de clicking delete. And uh, after you've added the employees, make sure you go through your settings page and if you decide that you want to use uh, the text message part, you have to sign up for a Twilio account and then you use your SID and your auth token and you paste those in there and the caller ID is a number that you have bought on your Twilio account so it's just a dollar a month and then the recipient number is the number that it sends the text message to so this is going to be like the business owners uh, phone number that gets the messages. Now prepin custom text that just means it's uh, whatever shows up at the very beginning of the text message so you can customize that. 
and these two options, excellent text and poor text. Uh, when they submit the form, the excellent text is what shows up if they say they had a good experience and the poor text is what shows up if they say they had a bad experience. So you can use HTML for this. Uh, so you can customize it however you want. Now let me show you how to set up Twilio. So Twilio is the text message marketing or the text message thing that the uh, plugin uses. So you sign up for an account and I think they give you like 30 bucks when you first sign up. But you'll just copy this account SID and auth token uh, and paste that into your settings page. So you go to reviews, settings, and there'll be the account SID and auth token that you paste in there. <coughs> and you just click this unlock button to show your auth token. Now you will need a number to use. So uh, you can just go to numbers, you can search for whatever number you want, and it's just a dollar a month, uh, which is a really good deal. And I think it's like one cent per text message or something ridiculous. So that's a really good deal. And uh, yeah, so you just paste that in here. Your caller ID, that's going to be your Twilio number that you bought, recipient number. That's the number of the business. So when you have that set up, uh, it should just show this form and it should, uh, should be able to submit it. And then it shows this menu of review sites. And uh, the other thing is, if you want to show the actual reviews, you have to make sure that they are actually published. So as you can see, as soon as a review is submitted, it's, it shows as scheduled. So uh, you can just, if you don't want it to show, this is one I just made, you just edit the status right here. And you can either change it to draft that way it'll never get published or uh, you just set it to an earlier date if you want to and you can publish it and then that one will show up so the widget that you use is review widget for reviews so it's right here and the settings for that it's just uh, how many reviews you want to show so let's say you want to show three and you can set a title for it. As you can see here, it shows three reviews. And uh, the other thing you can do to have the same effect, except for on any site, or I mean any uh, page, is there's a short code that accomplishes the same thing. So I did it on a page called Reviews. And you can see it's showing five. And it's just a short code, show reviews, and then use the attribute how many equals five to, uh, to decide how many reviews you actually want to show on that page. So that's fairly straightforward. I, I recommend just using the widget if you're going to do that. It's the easiest way to do it, unless you want to actually have a page with all of your reviews. Uh, so yeah, you can keep track of your employees, how many reviews each employee gets by just clicking on reviews. And again, the uh, poor or excellent are the two options for the rating. And uh, if you ever want to see like how an individual employee is doing, like how many review, how many reviews they're getting, you just click on the employee's name right there, and it'll filter just the reviews by that employee. So yeah, that's about it. Uh, we're going to have a webinar to explain more in depth any questions you guys have. We're going to go through setting it up. And uh, just make sure there's no questions unanswered. So if you could, if you have any uh, important questions that need to be answered right away, then go ahead. But it might just be better to wait until the uh, webinar for a lot of your questions. That way we can get them all answered at the same time. Uh, that's it. Uh, feel free to contact me if you have any questions. Thanks.